Right, welcome back to the channel everybody and today's video has been requested by many of you in the comments section below and one element of the review is from a direct request from a new Average Golf Club member, Mick Kavanagh. Loving having the input on the channel from members and uh, well more on that later. But first of all, let's see if we can get this one up and down. Sit down. It's not too bad, we've got a chance. So the two clubs you've requested to see, well quite a lot of requests to be quite honest with you, are both in the G430 lineup and the head to head you've asked for is the nine wood versus the five hybrid. And I think it's a real interesting on course review. So what makes this particularly interesting is that, well, there are a lot of similarities between these two clubs, one being the close proximity at least in loft but that is where it also ends because whilst there are a lot of similarities there are a lot of differences as well and i think on course we're going to see a huge difference in terms of performance even though in dry ball data they were very very similar in terms of distance covered now the first thing we're going to see is plenty of high ball flights and one potential criticism of both these clubs is the fact that they do pop the ball up quite high We've got perfect conditions today. It's quite windy up here at Hollywell. Let's just see how much that impacts on these two clubs. But the first major difference we want to quickly look at is length of shaft because one is 41 and a half, the other is 39 and three quarters. And to my reckoning, that's one and three quarter inch difference in shaft length. So what you'd expect to see straight away is more club head speed generated with the nine wood. Now it felt to me like first of all that ball seemed to fly even higher than that of the five hybrid which is really weird because one is lofted slightly weaker than the other but that larger head profile and that CG right back in the nine would suggest that it just might creep a little bit higher into the clouds. It also seemed to fire off that face a little bit faster. I'm going to have a look where those two finish but my reckoning is that nine would performed a little bit better in terms of distance carry than that of the five hybrid. And that's interesting because that's not what we necessarily seen in dry ball data. So just to clarify that longer shaft should, like I said, generate more club head speed. So theoretically, yes, it should be the longer club. I'm going to go through all dry ball data very, very shortly, which I collected a few weeks back. And from my memory, at least anyway, they were very, very similar in terms of carry distance. But there's a thing that impacts that out here on the course, and that is the wind. And that makes a big difference both in to and with. And on those two shots, we had a little bit of wind with that higher ball flight from the nine wood, I think is what is then gonna extend the ball in terms of a longer carry. But what are you expecting to see from today's results in terms of the test on course? Make sure you post your comments down below. Perhaps of your own experiences, what are you thinking? Which is the longer, let's say, first of all, and what are we gonna see difference in terms of these two clubs on course? So those two balls, interestingly enough, weren't separated as greatly as I perhaps thought. I reckon maybe eight yards separated them in terms of carry. And it's clear to me that the energy in the nine wood was very much into putting that ball up in the air and the lower ball flight uh, certainly extended that carry, if you like, and made it a closer comparison. Just for the record, I decreased the loft in the hybrid from 26 down to 24.5. So we have half a degree set separating them in terms of uh, loft. But the interesting bit, still the nine wood is the stronger loft, but it's popping the ball up that little bit higher. It's an interesting test, this one. Look at that. Right, this is interesting now, so we're playing into that headwind. I'm aiming slightly down the right because we've got people coming up the fairway on the left and I don't want to hit anybody. But anyway, we've got a lower ball flight from that uh, first shot that you see there, the hybrid. It's done okay, actually. What I'm going to do now is switch up to the nine wood, but now we're going to see how much it impacts that higher ball flight when we're playing wind in two. Oh, that's... Right, so that's really interesting. Once again, the nine wood is just almost double the height in many ways of what the four, five hybrid is doing. That's hovered, and I can already see from where those two balls have finished, they're very close to each other. But I think on this occasion, the hybrid is the longer of the two balls. So the thing that slightly baffles me throughout this test is the consistency in which we've seen the nine wood being the higher ball flight, 
even though, and it's only half a degree, don't get me wrong, but it's the uh, stronger lofted of these two clubs. The big deal right now is that head profile, and I mentioned earlier on in the video, that CG placement in the nine wood is allowed to be placed that much further back. So fairway woods in general for me just allow you to pop that ball up a little bit higher if that is what you're looking for in terms of assistance in your game. So bigger head profile, CG and MOI can be affected more greatly than they can in the likes of a hybrid. So they're the kind of things that you need to consider when you're choosing one of these over the other. Again, decent strike, high ball flight, nothing like what we've seen so far from the nine wood. It's been very consistent in the ball flight. Um, yeah, decent enough shot. Switch up into the nine wood again and let's see what kind of difference it makes. Just again, same thing and um, didn't see it as much in dry ball data and we're gonna go through that now really is the higher ball flight off the nine wood. It's really firing a ball up really high. I'll be interested to see with those two just exactly where they finished because uh, visually they didn't seem a lot to separate them, but they'd have got there in very different ways, let me tell you. I think we're gonna stop and go through that dry ball data because this is really interesting. The thing about dry ball data is recorded indoors, it's recorded uh, without the implications of wind and other influences that you get in reality out on the golf course. So this gets really interesting. I'll put that data on screen for you now. It was collected a few weeks ago when I originally did the reviews of these clubs. First of all, there's a difference in ball speed and we'd expect that from the club head speed, extra club head speed generated from that longer shaft of the nine wood. The five hybrid launch is higher, spins a little lower, the descent angle is not as steep as what you're seeing from the nine wood and the peak height is slightly lower than that of the nine wood, but the overall carry distance is pretty much exactly the same. Now, one of the things we've done a lot of on this channel is analyze clubs' performance based on, not about loft, just based on how they get the ball from A to B. And it can be very, very different. If we threw a five wood into this, uh, five iron into this equation, sorry, you'd see things like a much flatter ball flight, lower launching ball, probably a little bit lower spinning ball, uh, certainly a lower peak height and a less steep descent angle, if that's correct wording but it'll probably carry 181 yards. So you've really got to be careful how you choose your clubs and what it is you want from each of those clubs. Out here on the course, we've seen the implications of the wind and what it does to ball flight. And it's very different depending on whether that's downwind or in two. And yet again, those two balls have been separated this time from a wind that is off the right with a right to left shot. The nine wood has carried probably 15 yards longer than that of the five hybrid. So they're the kind of things that you really need to start considering when you're deciding. This head-to-head -head was perhaps two clubs side by side based on their dry ball data, but in terms of what they do out on the course, they're very, very different. Oh my word, I mean, to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting that. The lie is certainly not heavy, but the ball flight is ridiculous. That's so high i mean in perfect honesty it's not been much different from what i've played off the tee nor from the fairway that ball has gone so so high super impressed with that loved how close i was to the ball in terms of that control element let's try the nine wood and see if it can match that i very much doubt it incredible ball flight to be honest with you to pick it up out of they're not heavy lies there's not a huge amount of rough here at uh, hollywell to be honest with you we have to manipulate the situation but just how it picks it up the slightly longer shaft of the nine wood i really preferred the control that i had from the hybrid to be quite honest with you but i was really surprised again just how much it picked the ball up and when you're looking about an iron equivalent, which like I said, would be a five iron, there is absolutely no way in the world that I'm getting that kind of ball flight off of a five iron. So from the rough, Mick Kavanagh, I would certainly suggest that the nine, do you know what? I wouldn't, I was gonna suggest the nine wood was the better. That's because it's just the last shot I've played. I'm so amazed by it. They both did amazing, didn't they, really? Right, so that's it. Nine wood and five hybrid put through the paces, even out of the rough, thanks to that request. Uh, look. The way I would sort of summarize is that these two clubs are very, very good for most average golfers. I've said that for a long, long time. Putting them in a head to head on the course was really interesting for me personally, because, you know, I'd have thought very much different things. Um, and so I just thought the nine would, would have been a fair bit longer in reality. Um, 
uh, quite a bit different and we didn't see that at all that was very much dependent on the wind i perhaps thought again i'd have more control over the hybrid use of the shorter shaft not sure there was such a great difference didn't really miss the middle that often with either club so even when you're going to sort of 41 and a half inches in terms of a 41 and a quarter wherever it was with the nine wood it's still a comfortable situation where you're not too far from that club head and still retain that control so just both very very good clubs but you ask for the head to head the differences are pretty much in ball flight and how they're affected by the conditions and elements on the course. So you've got to consider where you play your golf, what kind of ball flight that you want, um, and yeah, maybe which profile you want, which you prefer over a fairway wood or a hybrid type of head, because I know that splits a lot of your opinions as well. But overall, just really, really good fairway and hybrid lineup from Ping this year. I think it's incredible. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. We're going to have a little bit of a break and back out with Lewis from Hollywell Golf Club very, very shortly um, and an interesting video coming with him. So keep your eyes peeled and I'll see you tomorrow night.